All right, so we have a brand new spotlight trailer to check out. And this one, of course, is for the Fjordhawk, which is the final out of the three new creatures coming to Fjordr. Of course, we are getting Fenrir as well. I just don't think we're going to get any trailers or anything. We haven't even gotten like a, a dossier. So I really doubt any of that stuff's coming for Fenrir. But uh, either way, though, this is uh, the little shoulder mount creature. So we're going to play the trailer in full and then we're going to go over all the details. Alright, there we go. That was a pretty nice, like, short but sweet trailer, but there's actually a good amount of details in it, so let's kind of go over some of them right here. So, first of all, um, just check out how small this creature is. It looks really small. I, I don't exactly remember how big a Featherlight is, but I feel like it's smaller than a Featherlight. Or maybe around the same size. I don't exactly know. Either way, though, super small creature. Check this out. As soon as the player dies, like this thing's already taken off with your stuff that seems so good i really like that idea it could also just be a really handy way of transferring items around a map as well like you know you could just you know like eat some respawn candy and and then you know have it fly the items back to your base or something i don't even know like i'm very curious how the weight is going to work on this thing though because like what happens if you have a lot of stuff on you can it carry all of that i, I have so many questions but we're gonna have to wait and see before uh where we get any answers to those but uh yeah so this thing of course will just grab out your items and fly off with them i'm really hoping it could grab them all and it doesn't just pick specific ones or something maybe the hot bar if it has to prioritize because of weight or whatever then that would be kind of awful you're gonna want to maybe get some weight like weight mutations or something on this thing i don't know but anyway yeah so um like the player hasn't even hit the ground and this thing's already taking off i love that so much so, uh, yeah, in the next little scene, you'll see that uh, this bird is already basically there. You know, this isn't, it's not going to teleport to you. That's one thing that I think that we should probably mention. You know, obviously this location and that location may not be beside each other, but this thing's probably going to have to take a minute to actually fly to you. It's not just going to teleport out of that area and then appear at you when you are respawning because everybody knows you can respawn really quick like that. But either way, though, you can see it drops down beside this item cash bag. And again, it is really, really small. I just, I don't know. I'm so surprised by how small it actually is. Uh, either way, though, yeah, there you go. It's just like this tiny little bird. And then this is, of course, another thing it could do. You can grab items off of corpses. That could be really useful for, for PvP. And to be honest, this creature is going to be a real good, like, PvP and PvE creature. And again, actually, just the idea of transferring items back to base... You could potentially go to the wyvern trench right and you just you just grab the egg and then immediately eat some organic polymer and then boom this thing's just gonna fly off with the egg right that's the that's the idea i have at least i don't know if that's gonna work like if it's gonna get targeted or anything but yeah i don't know that could actually potentially work but uh, i just like the fact that it just brings it back to you it's like a little game of like fetch oh like yeah, yeah go get me go get me these items or something i don't know it kind of actually reminds me of the um the Ick the Ornus and the way that it will like bring fish and stuff to you if you point and, and get it to target things. But um, yeah, I don't know. And then of course we get this last little scene where <laughs> she's like holding out her arm as if it's going to land on her, but it just like completely savages us. Oh my God. Oh damn. All right. Yeah, no, that thing is kind of freaky. <laughs> we go right into the, into its feathers. Uh, yeah. So you can see a couple of them here. Um, we got some nice ish colors on them. I'm really excited to do some mutations though. I want to make like some really cool RG mutations that I've made, except in these tiny little feared hawks. I think that would be really cool to look at. But um, yeah, you can see right here, it's pretty vicious looking. I don't think it's actually going to do a huge amount of damage or anything. This is a scavenging creature after all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It looks really, really cool looking. <laughs> it's so derpy. So uh, another thing that we need to talk about is this image that came out a couple weeks ago. I didn't do a video on this, but I did post it on the community section of my channel. Whenever there's new stuff and I just don't make a video on it, you can almost check there for my thoughts if I have any. But um, yeah, so this image came out. It's a proper full on render of this creature. And uh, of course, we have a lot of details in this. We have this nest with the eggs in it and we have an oviraptor in the background with an egg likely in its hands i think that's an egg at least it's kind of hard to see but um 
you know what? Like, I feel like this almost confirms that they are an egg-stealing creature, which, you know, this may be old news to you, but I haven't talked about it, so let's talk about it for a second here. I do have to mention, and as, as I always mention when these renders and stuff come out, the guy that does these does a bunch of thumbnails for me as well, and I know that he adds in some, like, details to them that may not 100% be accurate. He does it not to mislead, but just to kind of add, like, you know more details into it and and actually kind of create more of a scene so in this case i don't think that's actually the case because we do have an Overaptor, and, and that's you know if the, if the Overaptor wasn't there i may think oh yeah no this isn't that type of egg stealing creature but we have that there there's so many things i don't know i really feel like we're gonna have to steal the eggs of these dudes probably at like the tops of like mountains or hills or something i i, I would assume that's where they would kind of nest right um either way though i i'm very excited like i i really do hope that that's actually how we get them because i do like the egg stealing it's it's fun and the last time we actually got a proper one I'm trying to think I, I can't think of any recent ones i don't believe I, I think the denonicus was the last one right maybe i can't remember anyway yeah i do like that as like a mechanic and um it's gonna make it so you're gonna be able to get some super early on if you can find their nest so yeah that is the Fjord Hawk. Of course, just let me remind you, because when I put out this image, um, a lot of people were saying, oh yeah, like it looks so much like an RG. <laughs> this is definitely not rideable, but it will ride on you. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a really awesome creature. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the little trailer? Let me know down below. And also there will be a proper video this weekend. I've been doing some crazy renovations on my PC and uh, I have physically not been able to turn it on because I needed to redo my whole water loop or whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.